Hi guys, Misty here. Welcome back for another episode of Color Your World with Diamond Painting along with me. I'm going to try to do a little bit of videoing. I honestly don't know if my child will be quiet enough because um, his dad had to take older brother to the dentist because he was saying that his tooth was bothering him. I don't know if it's hurting or if it's just something happened to it. I don't know. Um, but, and so I'm getting pretty frustrated because it just keeps falling down. The magnets are not working right. Nothing seems to be working right on this diamond painting and it's getting pretty frustrating. So, every other session I've been able to get it to stay up just fine. But this time, for some reason, I'm not able to and it's pretty infuriating. So, we are just going to continue on. Um, so he said that his tooth was hurting, but sometimes he says, um, you know, like that something is hurting and it's not, or, you know, he's, you know, got like, he'll just say yes, even if he's not in any pain or whatever. So. It makes it really difficult to find out whether he really is in any kind of pain or you know what his issue is um, so I have the younger one here with me who I'm trying to keep entertained so I might have to pause and stop a few times but we'll see what happens um, so, I really, we didn't, really didn't do much over the weekend. My husband had his virtual drill stuff going on, um, for the military. So we really didn't get, we really didn't get to do anything over the weekend. So... Um, I'm not even sure what I'm going to talk about in this video because I never know where my videos are going to go. I don't tend to map them out, although sometimes I probably should because they seem to be all over the place. I did get a message asking about um, when I repaired my diamond painting uh, my of my mother. Um, they said they wanted to see more of a step-by-step -step instruction. So I'm going to ask. Do you want to see a step-by-step -step of how to repair a canvas as in like I need to pull off all of the adhesive, show you what that looks like, um, and then show you how to pour the dot stick, or I think Eileen's Tacket um, is also another um, product. I have not tried that, so, um, I have no, no real clue about it, so, uh, but, um, so, because I do have a canvas that I could use to do that, but I just want to know if it's, something that you guys would like to see um or I was actually talking to one of the diamond painting companies and it sounded like they might be willing to send me 
the diamond painting without the adhesive stuck to the diamond painting. So like they would send it to me, I guess like rolled up, not attached. Um, so I'm considering doing that. Like they would just print it out on the canvas. Um, I'm also debating whether or not I would like to, um, sorry, I'm trying to make sure that they're still stuck. Um, also wanted to see if maybe you want me to buy like a canvas from Diamond Dots itself and show you how to put the dot stick on that actual canvas because I would probably be able to do that as well. I hate when it scratches the diamonds up. Cause I could do that as well. I just, I don't know yet what I would make with the, the diamond. Like, so the extra canvas that I have, I don't really have many extra canvases, I'll be honest. Um, uh, a lot of my, uh, everything that I purchase, I purchase to hang up on my walls. Um, so, um, I don't have a lot of canvases that have like rivers and stuff in them and if I do I've I've already completed them or um or you know I don't I don't know they I keep all of my um, double-sided adhesive under my mattress so everything stays pretty flat at all times I have not had any um I've not had any rivers pop up out of nowhere like if it didn't already come with rivers it's not getting it it doesn't have they don't have rivers so that's not something that I've um, had any experience with so I don't know um, if hanging them up has some kind of negative effect on them or what but I just know that I don't have any issues with them um, as long as they did not have rivers before they were sent to me. So um, like my mom's canvas was heavily covered in rivers. I think that was the worst one I had received. Um, and I actually uh, received I want to say there was a few rivers on the home fun one that I bought for my sister uh, but at that time I didn't know anything about the Eileen's tacket or or whatnot so I did not repair them I, I re well I repaired them by um, cutting a slit in the in the air pocket area but for me it didn't really um, it mostly didn't flatten out like my with my mom's because I did one for my niece of the same port of the same one that one I got from Cami Yi and it it just did not um, it was just covered in rivers and it did not ever settle back down so um, I finished it for my niece and framed it but I was not happy with the results of it because of how crappy um, it turned out with all of the 
the rivers on it. So, so, so far I have not had a chance to work on my mom's painting again. Um, so I'm debating if I want to continue working on that one on camera and, um, or off camera rather, and, and just work on this one on camera only or what I want to do. So I haven't, haven't fully decided how I'm going to do that yet. Um, um, so I think if I do um, stop working on it on camera, then I would get it done a lot faster, um, because I'm not working on it when I'm not filming, and I need stuff that I'm not having to use, um, like, camera equipment on, so I did finish my 60 by 60 over the weekend, um, so that was nice, and I did start another one that I'm working off of camera, and it's a 60 by 40 that I'm working on. Um, but, um, if I'm going to continue to work on my mom, I can't obviously, um, work on it unless I'm videoing. So, uh, I might, I might start switching back and forth. I don't know. Um, cause eventually this one will become... You know, like a, oh my god, I have to work on this one again, <laughs> kind of a thing. Um, you know, after a while of working on it, although I haven't experienced that yet. So, I'm hoping that it doesn't happen too much, quite frankly. Um, just because I'm enjoying working on it. And it's, and it's also helpful that I have, you know, the one that I'm working off camera with, um, too, because... I'm really enjoying that one too. I mean, I'm I'm getting a good portion of it done too, in in a short amount of time. So that's always nice. Um, but my husband's supposed to go to Joanne's today and get me some of this clear cellophane stuff to put on my diamond beanies because I don't like I don't like the opaque covers I want to be able to see what I'm working on and and see the whole thing while I'm looking at it so I've decided I'm gonna replace opaque covers the ones that I'm working on so Um, so yeah, you can get the opaque covers, or I mean, not the opaque, you can get clear cover cellophane stuff, uh, it's not cellophane, but it's like clear cover, um, from Joann's, if you have a Joann's near you, or I believe you can order it online. And it works nicely. It makes the double-sided tape a little bit on the slippery side, I think. And I don't always like that, but but it's been been nice to because I had some already that I used and then my husband um, he was letting my son eat and drink near my my tub that I keep everything in 
and he knocked over milk into my tub. So I had to throw like everything away because my when my husband cleans up stuff, um, like I have to really do it myself because when my husband cleans up stuff, he cleans up like he's young, like very young, like very kid like. So he'll just like wipe off the surface and then he's done. If he can't if he does if he can't see it then he's not gonna dig it through and clean off anything else. So I was pretty upset because I stuck my hand in the tub and I went to pull something out and it had like curdled milk on it. It was disgusting and I was so mad because like all I guess I had a bunch of the um the clear cover that I was like you know just reusing and stuff and so he like spilled every like on everything in there and um and it the the tub got all gross and stinky and so I had to clean everything out of it and um clean up everything and throw away the stuff that I couldn't salvage which was pretty much anything that um I was saving for extra co covers and and whatnot so it was really it was really gross though like I was like, you didn't think to pull everything out because the milk probably seeped down everything. Like, what the heck? So, if I, if I don't do it myself, or if I don't sit and watch him do it properly, then he'll just, like, like, even when my kids spill something on the carpet, like... He'll just like give it a, a wipe over and then he's done. And I'm like, what about all of the stuff that's soft into the bottom, like into the carpet now? You've got to actually like stand on it, move it, or, like move the, like scrub it. Like, I mean, you got to do more than just give it a little wipe and then walk away from it. It's going to be soaking wet. You didn't, you didn't pull anything out of the carpet by just leaving it there so sometimes it can be frustrating to you know like not have someone that can like help clean up stuff like that like properly <laughs> like I could have had my five-year-old do that um so that can be frustrating a little bit, but all I can say is he's lucky I love him. And yes, he watches every video I record, so he will be listening to me complain. <laughs> but um usually try to tell him the reason why you need to scrub more or why why you do things the way you do um so sometimes it's like having a fourth child And believe me, sometimes his reactions are even, like, having a fourth child. I'm like, really? Okay. So. Um.
I'm doing a smaller section today because um, I'm trying to do most of it on the camera if I can. So. I should say I'm trying to do most of it on both cameras. Because I have only been doing like partial and then partial on the, like I end up finishing up on the time lapse, but I also like my arm and my neck are hurting a little bit from how high up this table is, um, cause I'm just not used to it being this high up. What did you guys do this weekend? Did you guys finish up any diamond paintings? Did you guys start any new diamond painting? Like me? Um. How about what is your favorite size diamond painting? What is your like the size that you like pretty much always get all your diamond paintings in? Like, do you have a specific size? Most of that depends on the picture of in what size it should be and how much detail you want it to actually have. Which is why these ones were so big because I wanted them to be fully detailed. I try if I want if I want a lot of detail I try to get stuff that's over like 50 by 70, but it does, it does really, I felt bad that my husband didn't take him with him when he left, but I also don't want him getting coronavirus, so... He's like, as we speak, licking his hands. I'm like, jeez. Can't even let him leave the house if he's gonna be licking his hands like that every two minutes. So. I mean, honestly, I haven't met anyone that's been affected by it, uh, per se. Still, still a big worry to me. Because I don't want my family to get sick. be glad when it's all over but I it doesn't sound like it's gonna go away anytime soon because now they're saying that they're gonna delay the start of school they're gonna start August 24th virtually but they're not gonna do in school until later I guess because they're worried about 
the air conditioner, I guess, because they don't have an air, they don't have air conditioning in the schools here, I guess, in Colorado. So they are a little worried about um, the fans and um, kids wearing. They want. I think they want kids to wear masks at school. And I mean, I don't know. Kind of don't know what they're doing. So, my younger one, my younger, my three-year-old, won't start school until whenever they resume back to in-home. I'm just having, like, a really... <laughs> terrible time with this. I'm having a bad day with recording and um, so I don't know how much more I'm going to record just because I'm just like kind of getting fed up with this thing falling down and my husband's not here to help me figure out how to secure it better and I don't know what I don't know what the problem is but Usually I can use the magnets and it's fine, but I can't find the magnets that I'm used to using, usually using, so, um, I don't know what the problem is, but it just, it does not want to stay up here, and so it's getting pretty annoying. Sun just keeps shaking that ball. And I'm trying to talk around it. So, because I can't tell really how loud something is until I'm listening back. Because what I can, what I'm used to like blocking out, what I'm used to blocking out is definitely different than what you hear on camera because. I can block out the door making the, the um, creaking noise, but when I go to listen back for it, I'm like, oh my god, I think that sound is annoying on there. But you know, you get used to listening to your background environments, and so you don't always, you don't always know notice it because you're so used to you know blocking it out so like i i sleep with a fan on all year round because i like the sound of the fan and it helps me sleep i can't sleep in when it's completely dead silent like i will not be able to go to sleep and i will hear every little thing because i'm a really light sleeper so I have to sleep with a fan on year-round, so to me, I can block out that noise all the time. But, sheesh.
It just says mom, just to say mom. And I, actually, I don't even know if he's saying mom or if he's saying dad. He usually says dad for everything. But he doesn't even want anything. He just wants to say it. Which can be frustrating in its own self. To hear your name over and over and over and over and over and over again. I knew what he was saying. Because I only understand probably about 25% of his language. Um, the rest can be pretty much a mystery. And he doesn't always give clues to what he's talking about. So that it, like it's in like quiz mode. So it's like quizzing him about ones that he knows. But the problem is, um, he doesn't know most of them. One and two, it's like he doesn't know how to take a quiz per se. So. Impossible to hold it with magnets. What can I hold it with? Uh, I kind of just want to be done with this <laughs> because my back is like hurting and I'm having a hold the whole diamond painting up. I'm kind of bummed out to find that most of our, our shows are probably not going to return right away in the fall because of all of the COVID stuff. So, like, my husband, like, he's a big survivor watcher. Like, he's been watching it since the first season. And he was really young when it first, you know, when it first came out. So he started watching it with his dad. 
And so he's bummed out to find that they um, have not been able to record their next season and so they're going to be delaying it. Um, I was also bummed to find out that they are... Why did they switch? They switched... They switched... Something... I can't think of what it was. Was it Survivor? I switched out. Maybe it was Survivor. So then I switched it out so that um, one of the mid-season shows that's supposed to happen in the mid-season is actually going to happen in the fall. And then the fall season is going to happen mid-season, I guess. So, and I had to shut down production for a while now. A lot of stuff, I guess, happens behind the scenes, and a lot of different people have to be back there, and I don't know how they can socially distance while they're trying to, you know, have interactions, their show and stuff, so. I think my husband said that Big Brother is going to quarantine their classmates watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more diamond painting content.